What is space-time? You already know. Okay? No, yeah. you're not ready. Are you ready? No, I'm ready. I'm okay. ready. Okay. The faster you go, the slower time ticks. Say that again? The faster you move, yeah. the slower That's time ticks said, yeah? for you yeah. as seen by others. Right. As you approach the speed of light, time continues to slow down. Yes. At the speed of light, time stops. The scientific community has been left reeling from a recent discovery by the James Webb Space Telescope JWST which has brought into question the Big Bang Theory, the well-accepted explanation of our universe inception. The JWST's findings have prompted a reconsideration of our understanding of the existence of time in the universe. Shocking scientists, physicists, and astronomers alike, the Big Bang Theory posits that our universe has been expanding from a hot, dense state for over 14 billion years. However, the latest images from the JWST have painted a very different picture, leaving experts in the field bewildered and startled. The images captured by the JWST depicted galaxies that were surprisingly small, smooth, and startlingly ancient. Contrary to what the Big Bang Theory suggests, these galaxies appeared to become smaller with increasing distance, in contrast to the expected growth due to their light leaving them when nearer to us. Astonishingly, even galaxies with more mass and brightness than our Milky Way appeared two to three times smaller in the JWST's images than in those captured by the Hubble Space Telescope. Their redshifts, too, were two to three times greater. These revelations starkly contradict the Big Bang's expanding universe hypothesis. One striking example is the galaxy GHSC2, which is usually brighter than our Milky Way. However, the JWST analysis revealed it to be only 300 light-years in radius, a staggering 150 times smaller than the Milky Way's radius. Its surface brightness was found to be 600 times that of the brightest galaxy in the local universe, while its density would be tens of thousands of times that of present-day galaxies. The smaller, smoother galaxies suggest that there is no expansion, thereby challenging the notion of the Big Bang. Scientists advocating for the Big Bang Theory have proposed that these tiny galaxies evolve into the galaxies of today by colliding and spreading out. However, the JWST findings have undermined this hypothesis as well. Instead of presenting the anticipated badly mangled galaxies, the JWST revealed neat spiral forms and very smooth disks, further contradicting the Big Bang Theory's predictions. These surprising findings have left scientists such as Alison Kirkpate Risk, an astronomer at the University of Kansas in Lawrence, questioning their long-held beliefs and assumptions. In light of these findings, the scientific community is facing a paradigm shift, with the very foundation of our understanding of the universe inception now up for debate. The JWST's revelations have undeniably disrupted the status quo prompting urgent re-evaluations and opening up new avenues of exploration in the quest to unravel the mysteries of our universe. Given the profound implications of the JWST's findings, the scientific community is now grappling with a new set of questions and challenges. The previously accepted tenets of the Big Bang Theory and an expanding universe are now being rigorously tested as researchers seek to reconcile these new observations with our existing understanding of the cosmos, the nature of these surprisingly small, smooth galaxies, and their apparent contradiction to the Big Bang Theory, has ignited a fervor of scientific investigation. For example, researchers are now exploring alternate theories to explain the formation and evolution of galaxies. One such theory is that of a non-expanding universe. If these small, dense galaxies are remnants of an early, non-expanding universe, it could offer a radically different perspective on cosmic history and the nature of time itself. The implications of the JWST's findings are not limited to cosmology. They have also sparked a wider discussion about the nature of scientific inquiry itself. In an era where major scientific theories can be turned on their heads, Scientists are being reminded of the inherent uncertainty and evolving nature of their work. This revelation is a testament to the fact that scientific knowledge is always in flux, subject to change as we develop better instruments and techniques to probe the mysteries of the universe.
Despite the upheaval, this new era of astronomical discovery is also an exciting time for researchers. The very fact that such a foundational theory can be questioned is a testament to the power of scientific inquiry. The JWST's astonishing findings have pushed the boundaries of our cosmic understanding, inviting researchers to think beyond established theories and explore new frontiers in our quest to understand the universe as a complex issue of both quantum mechanics and general relativity. There have been multiple attempts to reconcile this conflict. One of these is string theory, which posits that the fundamental building blocks of the universe are not particles, but rather tiny vibrating strings. This theory, if proven, could potentially combine quantum mechanics and general relativity into a unified theory of everything. Another approach is loop quantum gravity LQG, which posits that space-time is not smooth, as general relativity suggests, but rather consists of discrete, interconnected loops. According to LQG, the universe is built from these tiny, discrete loops of space-time, each with a specific size, which could potentially solve the issue of quantum gravity. Yet another theoretical framework is quantum loop cosmology QLC, a variant of LQG, which applies these principles to cosmology, the study of the universe as a whole. This approach has given us new insights into the origin of the universe, possibly resolving the Big Bang singularity and offering new perspectives on the Big Crunch and the concept of time. However, it's important to note that all of these theories are still largely theoretical and unproven. They represent the cutting edge of our understanding of the universe, and there is still a great deal of work to be done before we can say for certain which, if any, of these theories is correct. Moreover, the concept of time and its directionality is still a topic of hot debate in physics. Some physicists argue that the concept of time's arrow, the idea that time has a preferred direction from past to future, is simply a consequence of the second law of thermodynamics, which states that the total entropy or disorder in an isolated system always increases over time. Others, however, suggest that the nature of time may be even more complex and may involve aspects of quantum mechanics and general relativity that we do not yet fully understand. In conclusion, the mysteries of the universe continue to perplex and fascinate us. The nature of time, the fate of the universe, the reconciliation of quantum mechanics and general relativity, and the concept of a multiverse are all questions that we are still struggling to answer. As we continue to probe the depths of the cosmos and the intricacies of the subatomic world, we can look forward to new discoveries, theories, and perhaps even revolutions in our understanding of the universe.